All giants don't come from big people. Don't come from big mother. And I know you just want to hear what you know already. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A short, short lady can be a giant. Come on now. The husband is tall. You didn't get me. The husband is a giant. And the lady is five feet. You can be a giant. I know you didn't get me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Little Mary bore God. Yes. Did he get me? You didn't get me? He said, What was you talking about? Come on. Where won't you get spiritual? <laughs> Little Mary was the womb of God. Yes. So you have to be careful. Yes. And God says, raising up a womb. Yes. The president came from what? <laughs> My, come on, you don't, you don't want to talk to me. Come on. God, come on. Amen. Our rebels came from what? You see, you don't, you don't want to come with me. Hallelujah. Try to get me, try to get me, try to get me. God said he has raised up a womb on the earth. Hallelujah. And it's going to shake the planet. From east to the west, it's already happening already. Glory to God. Somebody say a womb for world revival. Hallelujah. God says in Isaiah 42 and verse 9, the former things are come to pass. And behold, I do need Anybody heard about a, a preacher called William Seymour? Come on. A little man. A little nobody. Come on. But God calls a Sousa Street mm, in Los Angeles to be a womb for the Pentecostal movement. Come on, somebody. That today, over six hundred million people are Pentecostals yes. are, are you getting me and he was a son of a slave come on somebody say a womb God said in Isaiah 48 and verse 6 I have shown thee new things in this time even hidden things and thou didst not know it new things because from a womb Come what? New birth. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. God says in Mark 7 and verse 13, he says, we have allowed tradition to make the word of God of none effect. Mm. He says in Hosea 8 and verse 12, he said, I have taught you the great things of my law. And you consider it a strange thing. God is doing something new on the earth. That's why I need a womb. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. That's why Jesus said, Ye must be born. Oh, God of mercy here. We just want to improve, eh? And put the meat in the refrigerator, even though it's already stale. Come on, come on, somebody. And put all the spice in it and it just can't taste good because it's stale. But God will, re come on, we release a womb for a new child. Some folks will give in trouble. I'm, I'm not going to correct them no more. I'm just going to correct the son and the daughter. Call on me, so let's sing, hit it. One, two, three, four.
begin to give such strong mm, release hallelujah concerning the womb 
Hallelujah. I don't like to preach about womb. I don't like it. No, let the lady preach it, but I have to obey God. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. And you know, the great things are always connected to women, but the men don't get that yet. Come on, somebody. She's absolutely right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But I got to do what I have to do. Because what work is what works. You can't be a widow woman. Come on, shut up. You, you're looking at me funny like maybe I'm not right. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. The first thing about this womb that God has revealed and released upon the earth, this womb, is that this womb is with child Amen. hallelujah glory to god be careful how you do things without the womb come on the men go out some other places mess up themselves glory to god but the womb is where god chose to come from come on are you coming with me are you coming with me Ooh. Somebody said the womb is with child. Somebody said with child. Hallelujah. That's double I T H C H I L D. Isaiah 7 verse 14 says, Therefore the Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And shall call his name Emmanuel. That is not Old Testament, that's not New Testament, that's Old Testament. Glory to God. It came prophetically that a womb, hallelujah, would be with child. On the earth, God wanted to change the condition of man. And he said, I ain't gonna put wicked man in a refrigerator. Nor even on the fire. I need a womb. Glory to God. That's with child. A womb that is conceived. Right now on the earth. With the condition of the earth right now. A wash over revival can't do it. Just trying to preach better can't do it. In the church today. In the body of Christ. The preachers. We are finding all kind of different way to preach. All kind of acrobatic way. New style. I heard it. I've even horse walking through the church Sunday morning. He don't do all kind of. Come on. Come on. Are you with me? All kind of dress up. Come on. For the church. To see if there can be a break. To see if revival can come. And some of the things that they do are not bad. Come on. But you cannot improve it. There's need for a new birth. Revival will call for a new birth. Revival will call for a womb. Matthew 1 23. Here's the fulfillment. <laughs> Behold, a virgin shall be with child. Did you hear the word? In case you were saying what Bishop talking about. Uh -huh. Wow! Somebody said a womb for world revival is with child right now. Right now. What's going on can be improved. More television, more books can't get it done. It's gone too bad. Glory to God. Jesus. Hey. And shall bring forth a son. Am I in the same Bible as yours? And they shall call his name Emmanuel. That's why in this time you can't just work with church as having an activity. You must de demand from the church miracles. You must demand prophetic fulfillment. Folks, just like 
let unto you. No! Your church must demonstrate the fruit. You can't have church and you have, you have 50% divorce. Uh, and you go to that church. You don't, you don't, you don't plan. You, you don't plan to keep your marriage together. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Every second time. Come on, somebody. You have divorced pastor, marry three times. Come on. And it's that church you go. You're crazy. Come on, somebody here. Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If you cannot find one, start one. My God of mercy. In your garage. You don't want to hear nothing here. Come on. Now. When they finish with you, you ain't got no home. Glory to God. Somebody say a womb is with child. Are you coming with me? Don't fight me now. Don't fight me now. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's why I believe certain kind of sin is okay to baptize. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which interpreted what? God with us. If you want God with us again, ooh, you need a womb. Someone say God with us. Someone say God with us. Someone you're not moving your mouth. Is that good? I want to put down my glasses. Ah, come on, somebody. What do you want? Man, a mighty man. A mighty man come down for, uh, with, with steam in his ears. Come on, that's what you want. No, you want God. Somebody said God. Somebody said God. To have God, you need a womb. Come on, somebody. You need a new birth. That's why Jesus said, Any man in Christ, somebody help me. You better, you better shout at me because I feel like preach for six hours. But if you want 30 minutes, you're going to shout with me. Any man in Christ is a new creature. Beyond all things. Oh, somebody say, All. Oh, I know you want to keep some glory to God but all things are pass away that's why if you have any gift before you got saved when you get saved throw it all away if you are if you're having dreams and it come to pass seemingly you understand come on when you get saved you throw it away the soulish gifts you don't need the gifts of the spirit don't talk about your grandma Come on, somebody. Or you found out this and found out that. And the grandma, come on, somebody. Dream to you. Come on, somebody. After you get saved, you throw a grandma dream. Because that's no divination. That's no witchcraft. Oh, my God of mercy. Oh, rabbis. Are you quieting me? Somebody say, a womb for revival. God say, I need a new Someone say, Womb. Luke 1 35. He said, And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost will come upon thee. That sound kind of familiar. That sound like the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. He said, In the last days, I'll pour. Come on, somebody. See, now you're going to pour, right? The poor coming from above. So when it reaches you, what happened? It comes upon you. Yeah, yeah, come on. Did, did, did you hear what I said? When it comes upon you, hey man, it's like a pouring out. So when it comes upon you, it has been poured out to come upon you. Come on. And God says, in these last days, hallelujah, I will pour out, hallelujah, of my spirit. Hallelujah upon the modern Marys. Come on, get me, come with 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 me, come on. Those who have a spiritual womb ready for a new revival. That's why the Bible speaks of the 
ten virgins uh, representing the kingdom of, of God. Uh, but five were wise. Uh, somebody here. And five were foolish. Uh, uh, glory to God. Uh, glory to God. And those five wise were ready for the bridegroom. Ready for the outpouring. Ready for the power of God to come upon them. Say amen. Someone say a womb for world revival. He said, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. What's it now? And the power. Let me see, honey, if you want power. Come on, somebody here. Come, come with me, come with me, come with me. Put on your hands now. He said, and the power of the highest. We want all kind of midland power. Power from man, power from employer, power from rich men, power from politician, power from this. He said, and the power of the highest. Yeah. Say amen. Shall overshadow thee. Lift your hand and receive it. Come on. Lift your hand and receive it. He said, it shall overshadow thee. It means it doesn't only come upon you. It takes you over. Come on, somebody. It takes over your mind. It takes over your spirit. It takes over your body. It takes over your walk. You know, overshadow. You know, overshadow. It takes over your going out. It takes over your coming in. It takes over your decision. It takes over your action. It, my God of mercy, he said, a power of the highest shall overshadow you lift up your hand and receive the power of the highest are oh, you following a religion that can't tell you what is to come put on your hands can't tell you what is to come that they are so scared that in India if a Christian talk to a Hindu Come on, somebody. They put them in jail because they are afraid of the power of the highest. Come on. The power of the highest. Come on, somebody. It's so incredible. They have to make laws. Come on. To prevent folks from getting saved. So what is Hinduism then? If you're so strong, why is it somebody can talk to a Hindu? Why is it they're afraid of the gospel? Why is it right there in, in, in most of the Muslim countries? Come on, somebody. Come on. They don't want gospel. They don't want church. And church people don't hurt people. Christians don't do terrorism. Come on, somebody. But the laws are against church. Why? Because of the power of the highest come on somebody i told you all the time in saudi arabia where they have no church in saudi arabia if you open church in saudi arabia you go to jail if you preach on the street you go to jail so the people hide and go on the internet and come and have this army come on saudi arabia arab emirates what they call it united arab emirates Indonesia, Pakistan are top viewers. Come on, somebody. Why is it like that? Because they are drawn to the power of the highest. So they say, listen, if you put me in jail, I want to be connected to the power of the highest. But it begins with a womb. Say amen. Say amen. Somebody say, a womb for world revival therefore also that holy thing shall be born in thee shall be called the son of God how many are ready to operate as the sons of God come on that will be born from the womb the spirit of the son of God he says in John 1 verse 3, put on your hand, as many as receive him, come on, to them gave he power, come with me, to become what the sons of God. In 
last one on verse 8 it says and he shall receive power come on somebody somebody say a womb for revival he said and he shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost somebody help me here is come upon you and you shall be my witnesses come on somebody in Jerusalem in Judea in Samaria in America in Africa in South America in Australia in Canada you shall be my witnesses that's the outpouring upon the womb Somebody say a womb. That's what God is doing right now. And this womb is first of all what is what? With child. This womb is not only with child. But this womb is willing. 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 You got to be willing. The harvest army got to be willing. You got to be a willing womb. Glory to God. Glory to God. You won't be forced. Come on. Is weak people force people? Didn't hear that. I don't believe in forcing nobody to do nothing. I don't believe in choice is the most dignified attribute of a human being. Don't take away the choices. That's why Jesus gave us the opportunity to get saved. If your mother don't want you to get saved. Because your choice is yours. That's what makes you you. So this womb is willing. Let me see your hand if you're willing. Come on, somebody. I'll go where you want me to go. Put on your hand. Over man, ten or plain or sea. I will say what you want me to say. The Lord, I be what you want me to be. You know, this week I, we were talking about the daily revival, and 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 I was saying it's hard up here. And I heard someone in the section say it's easy, and I said, Don't say it's easy because it's hard. I was wrong. Come on, the preacher gotta gotta own up your wrong. I was wrong. Come on, it may be hard for me, but it was easy for you. God made it easy for you. For God said, my yoke is easy. Come on, I'm a burden. What, what am I to come and tell you? And tell you it's hard when God give you a way for it to be easy. And since I've been doing this, this, this daily revival, I find it kind of easy. Thank you for the encouragement. Amen. I find it kind of easy. In the day, I just go out and I don't think. I don't, I don't think. I just, I just, I just, I just, I'm cleaning my teeth. I just, I just, I just don't think. I just go in the van and just, boom, boom, boom. And just walk on down and say, for God so love the world. And, and then I jump in my van and go on back home. Come on, yeah? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Come on, thank you, thank you, thank you. We mean the most take correction too. Come on, somebody. Come on, daily revival. Somebody say it's easy. Glory to God. That easy anointing going to come upon you. My God, my God, my God. Somebody say a womb. Ah! Ah! Is willing. Luke 1 and verse 38. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it upon me. Hallelujah. Hey, this revival that's about a shade earth. Somebody say, Lord, be it upon me. Put your hand on your chest. Put your hand on your chest. Come on, willing, willing. Say, Lord, beat upon me. Let the sun be born. Let this power be born. Let this revival be born. Let this anointing be born. Lord, be it upon me. Remember, God don't put that in the bishop and he put that in your hand. Bishop can't stop you. Come on, God of mercy here. Pastor can't stop you. My God of mercy. Glory to God. Some of the in the name of Jesus. I receive. I receive the heart pouring upon me for world revival. It will be no less. It will be no less. Be it upon me. 
Put on your hand. Remember, this was the Son of God. The angel was telling Mary, You're going to have God. <laughs> Did I hear her? Mary, Mary, I'm the angel. Get ready. You're going to have God. I'm dropped to the ground. Someone said, Be it upon me. Be it upon me for this revival that's coming in from man. Man can't manage this. Come on, somebody. This is coming from God Himself. Lift up your hand and praise the Lord. Let it sound like I'm preaching good. Come on, somebody. Open up your mouth and say, Lord, be it upon me. Let revival be upon me. My mind, my spirit, my Body, be it upon me. Hey! Nobody take it away from you. Oh my God, Abba. Did God don't see you coming out every night? Come on, you think God blind? Come on, somebody. God said, I am not unrighteous. My God, I'm not to forget. Somebody help me. Uh, your labor of love. Uh, if nobody see you, God see you. Uh, he's about to pour out uh, all them long prayer. My God, my, uh, my God of mercy. Uh, yeah. My God, my God. Ooh. Say, be it upon me according to thy word. And the angel departed. Someone said, a womb that is with child. That's what I am. Yeah? This womb is with child. It's willing. Am I right? God said, this womb is a wonder. Don't try to be regular. It's not going to work. Don't try to be like the other good church. Even though we're not against them. Come on, somebody. Be individualistic in receiving. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In, in the Azusa revival, anybody heard of the Azusa revival? The people in the audience began to receive before the pastor. Yeah, yeah. Here you are. Let me wait till the pastor get it first. Huh? No, when it comes from God. Come on, somebody. Try to be first in the race. Come on, because only first, only first win, there ain't no second place. Come on, but don't worry. God willing to have twins and come on, somebody, and triplets. You know, work with me. Come on, and quadruplets. You're not excited. I know you want to be cousin and second cousin. You know, you know, oh, somebody. Yeah. Amen. And queen two plus and six two plus. And, uh, come on. Somebody that, that's six and, 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 and send two plus that's seven. You don't even know it. Come on. And eight that's a two plus. And nine I make up my own. Come on. Love two plus and million two plus. Come on, somebody. It means you're all first. You're all first in the womb. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. You're not even like Jay cup who was second among two uh, you're not excited um, i hope you'll be rolling on the floor you're, you're disappointing me come on somebody here uh, somebody say a womb uh, for revival uh, i receive my own i am first place uh, i am not second place uh, if pastor not ready i am ready if bishop not ready for revival i am ready am I, uh, you ain't with me somebody a lot of bishops too big to be ready we can't preach on the street we too notable and dignified come on somebody we can't stand up on street side uh, and say the coming uh, of the lord uh, is at hand uh, ten. someone is a womb for world revival this womb is a wonder. Get ready to be a wonder. Isaiah 66 verse 8. He said, who had heard such a thing? Everything you're doing, you want to hear about it before. You have to hear of it already. It must sound spiritual. Come on. And the trump of God shall sound and the... I know that's what they want, because you know that already. 
Am I losing you here? Come on, somebody. He says, Who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such a thing? Wow! Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Who ever heard that? How can you plant something and read the same day? How can the whole earth come on bring forth in one day come on somebody who had heard such a thing come on who had seen such a thing shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day or shall a nation be born at once for as soon as Zion travel, lift up your hand, Zion. Lift up your hand, Zion. Come on, Zion. I don't mean Zion church, I mean church, church. Come on, I got him, I got in the trouble, 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 yeah. Shirabakatababa, shakatababa, shara when Zion. Travel, um, if my people uh, who are called by my name, uh, come on, somebody will humble themselves uh, and pray uh, and seek my face. Uh, I will show up. Uh, I will have God uh, revival uh, is in the land. Uh, you don't have it anywhere here. Come on, play it. Uh, Some of God's revival uh, is in the land. Yes, yes, hallelujah. When Zion travel, she bring forth children. Hold it, no, don't play that again. I've never heard of every country preaching one hour, one day, and one accord. Come on, somebody, same time worldwide. Never heard of it before. Because all we want to do is what was done before. All we want to do is what Bishop Dr. Brown did some time ago. Come on, and which we thank God for that. Come on, but the time has changed. Come on, somebody. It's now internet. And if you can see everything on the internet one time, why we can't preach one time? You know, come on, 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 somebody say God. So God said, who had heard such a thing? Who had seen such a thing? Shall the earth, somebody say the earth, somebody say the world, somebody say the earth, that's the east, the west, the north and south. Shall the east, west, north and south be able to bring forth in one day? And God raise up worldwide vision day. Hallelujah. It's what's going on. Are you beginning to understand why God says, I've, I've raised you up as a womb? Hallelujah. Because the womb represents travail and, and birth, new birth, new thing never seen before never heard that before the bishop pastor man woman boy girl preach my wife and some folks were were just in india but my wife went over there come on somebody and the men began to preach and she took the mic from the men and give the woman in the audience, in the audience, you call out and give the woman preach, 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 woman, preach, woman. You think they can't stop that? They can't stop that because it's a time for it. Come on, somebody here. Lord of God, he's so upon my handmaids. Come on, somebody, and my hand and servants. The Going out, uh, you ain't preaching with me. Uh, I thought I just began to feel some fire. Uh, I know with me. Uh, he said, Upon my handmaid shall be the poor. Let me tell you, let me just let me just prophesy to you. You men who fight women in ministry, you're gonna fade. Your ministry gonna fade. I prophesy to you, your ministry gonna fade. No, if you're a woman, you gotta be under a man. 
in ministry. You don't like that part. Come on, some way. Come on, somebody, but nobody can stop you from preaching the gospel. Say amen. Say amen. Somebody say a womb for world revival. Stand up, everybody. This womb is with child. This womb is willing. Come on. This womb is a wonder. Are you listening? This womb is wounded. Yeah. Don't be afraid of the wounds. Some of you have worked. Some of your pastors, Bishop George, I know you work on some folks, spend time with them, encourage them, bless them, give them money, lift them up, encourage them, answer the phone three in the morning, and they are the ones who rise up against you. They are the ones who let you down. They go off and do something else. Have no appreciation, no thankfulness. Anything they can do to hurt you, they try it. Even if they have to hurt themselves to hurt you. You know some folks? They hurt themselves because they know you love them. They know your love, your love is so much for them. So they say, I'm not going to hurt myself. I want to let my mama feel bad. Yes, you do everything for them. And you are wounded. Many of you are wounded. Even your children wound you. Come on. Your friend wound you. You recommended him for the job. Come on, somebody. And he doesn't remember. And all it is find your fault, find faults. You stay in your house for a week and go and tell people everything negative. You wounded him. We get a troublemaker, but you're quiet. But that wound is not for nothing. Don't fight over it. Come on. A wounded wound bear quicker. Come on, somebody. He was wounded for our transgression. Come on. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace. Cause come on, come with me, come here, come here. Anybody ever been wounded? Preach, come on, preach me like you've been wounded. Come on, sir, man. It was a fear what they did. Come on. You couldn't fight. The spot they put you in, you couldn't fight. You're in a spot. You have to just hold your peace. Because if you open your mouth, it's going to be worse. Yes, yes. Come on. Some folks, they, they, they just love scenes. You know, some people love, hey, scene. But you're not like that. Come on. So even though they are wrong, you hold your peace. Come on, somebody. But you carry that wound. Come on, that wound going to be here. Come on, come on. Some, come on, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. God, God, God sees it. And that baby going to be born. Come on, that, come on, come on. Say amen with me. Say amen with me. Baby's there already. So even though you're wounded, baby coming. So, that, so that the more you feel the pain is the quicker the baby coming. Anybody know about that? Come on, when the pain get hard. Come on, mama. Come on, come on, mama. Help me out. Help me with my preaching here. Come on, somebody. When, 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 when that pain begins to rock, aim in your body. Come on, somebody. That baby is near. Come on, I know many preachers. My God are wounded. Many pastors are wounded. Many mothers of God are wounded. They have been broken. My God, their hearts have been broken. They have been wounded. They have beat upon them. But weeping may endure. Come on, come on, come on. You been helping me here. Weeping may endure for a night. Somebody help me here. But joy! Come it in the morning. It's coming. Revival coming. Devil can't stop it again. He may wound that revival child that's in your womb. But revival coming. This earth shall be shaken from the east to the west, to the north, to the south, by the mighty outpouring of God. Revelation 12 1 and there appeared a great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars remember the 12 apostles <laughs> remember the 12 patriarchs and she being with child did you hear that word this is revelation now we started way up in Isaiah 7 14 
but no we don't to revelation um, i lose her right there <laughs> ah, and she being we tried cried cried because she wounded come on somebody cried traveling in birth and pained to be delivered do you feel that way sometime verse 6 and she brought forth a man child my god etc etc somebody say womb thank you for world revival this womb is number one what with child this womb is number two what willing this womb number three is what wondered at number four this womb is wounded finally for tonight god give me one more this womb is a witness it's a witness matthew 24 verse 14 he said and the gospel of the kingdom come on somebody shall we preach come on in all the world somebody say all somebody say all somebody say all in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come it means many are not gonna turn many are not going to respond did you know that right now our preachers have just been to bolivia in south america a couple months ago and now bolivia is outlawing witnessing are you kidding me ethiopia we just been into ethiopia months ago now ethiopia has just thrown seven believers in jail why they threw them in jail because they went to a prayer meeting and heard them saying we bind the devil we bring down the power of darkness from this nation and they said they're praying against the government they said not about government all they say all the powers of darkness principalities and powers we bring them down hey hey they are so afraid of the power of god that they put these believers in jail It's the witness. It's the witness. Fire woman has been to Russia. Shortly after she come back, no more witnessing in Russia. It's no one. It's, it's now a crime to witness in Russia. Nepal was having the greatest revival among any nation on the earth, and now a few months ago they have made witnessing a crime. So you see, there's something. They were afraid of the witnessing. They were afraid of the gospel. Come on, they're afraid of the power. We all carry guns and knives and bombs. All you got, hallelujah, is the gospel. And they are locking it down. But praise God, this man child will be born. Glory to God. They may fight all they want. Someone lift your hand and say, in the name of Jesus, we receive we receive the revival lift up your hand and receive it right now begin to thank the lord 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 yes god say i've raised you up as a womb my god my god my god god said don't follow them don't look at what you have seen so far i am doing a new thing behold the form lift your hand and receive it behold the former things i come to pass and behold i do a new thing yes i'm doing a new thing upon this earth he said i've shown thee new things in this time even hidden things he said you are my battle axe and my weapons of war he said the kingdom of heaven lift your hand he suffered violence but the violent take it by force he says i will raise you up as a mighty he said think not that i am come to send peace but i come to bring a sword yes in the name of Jesus I release this outpouring in the name of Jesus I release this revival anointing upon the viewers worldwide from Australia to America I release it now 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. With child, willing, wonder, wounded, and a witness in the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody take take a minute and just and, and just work with the Lord and just just let the Lord have His way with you. Come on, somebody, somebody, right now we are gonna have altar later, but just somebody just take about a minute and and and, and oh my God and let this thing be born. Travail, yes, but let this thing be born. Say, Lord, beat upon me. If my bishop don't want it, I want it. If my friend don't want it, I want it. If my sister don't want it, I want it. If my mama don't want it, I want it. If my papa don't want it, I want it. Lord, I receive this outpouring. Lord, I receive world revival. Lord, I receive revival. Revive me, Lord. Revive my mind, my spirit, my body, my walk, my talk, my going out, my coming. I receive. Hey! A womb is being raised up for world revival right now. Put on your hand. Tell your friend to come in the womb. Hold it. Tell your, tell your neighbors, come in the womb. Tell them you may get some benefit outside, but you're not a here unless you're in the womb. Come on. Coming all the way, this womb is, is being poured out by God. God is anointing this womb. Hallelujah. God is sanctifying this womb. God is virginating this womb. Hallelujah. God is releasing wisdom upon this womb. Hallelujah. Sit down for a moment. We're going to stop. I need every one of you tonight to give mighty unto the Lord. I know we don't have a million people here tonight, but I know how God works. God have a way to move on the five out of the virgins. God have a way to work. I don't know. I don't understand why God worked like that. But God, my God, God have a way to move. Hallelujah. On a small pocket of the large. I'm still learning to understand that. But in a night like this. You're watching Harvest Army Church International, live broadcast. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching our live broadcast. Please support our ministry by donating at harvestarmy.org give.